Hi gang, so for this review week, we're going to cover a little bit of basics, and with each basic uh, screencast, I'm going to try to keep it under a few minutes, where it's not going to be a long screencast, but after each lesson, I'm going to put a practice exercise next to it, and all you have to do is email me the uh, result of the practice to gain points, okay? And that way we can kind of make this classroom a little bit more as if we were on ground together. And I can build trust with you guys to ask me questions about anything. So anyway, back to our variables. This lesson is the first thing I'll teach, and it's just about the separation of string and variable. I'm going to save this as string and variable. Okay, and as you notice, I have uh, these script tags right here. I have no HTML at all, but I'll make a variable called some string. This takes us back to lesson one. And I'm going to write, Chris um, wants to help with a space. Okay. And then we're going to have another variable. And we're going to call this some description. Now I'm keeping it at camel case, but you can feel free to call it whatever you'd like. And I can do learn JavaScript. Okay, so one of the most fundamental things that you want to learn is how to merge these things together. So if I were to console.log some string plus some description, and notice how I didn't camel case, they are case sensitive, but now I can load that and go right to my desktop where it says string and variable and go to my log which is under tools and developer tools here Chris wants you to wants to help you learn JavaScript now there's double spaces here so we want to remove a double space all we have to do is save and hit refresh and there we have it okay so I'm gonna add a little bit more to this now I'm going to do it with um, an alert I can go ahead and alert some string plus some description. And now when I alert this, when I hit refresh, I get the alert box. Okay? So that's a string and variable. Strings need to be in quotes, so I can easily do something like this or like this, and they absolutely equal each other. But you've got to keep the same type of quotes. You can't have a single quote with a double quote. You can't have a double quote over here with a single quote. And that'll trick off an error. So that's lesson one. And I'm going to put a practice, a uh, little practice thing right after this, this video. Thank you.